Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mechanical Engineering Made Easy with Neha Mishra because it is actually easy. So guys, in this video we will see quick review of the steps that we had taken to solve coplanar type of force systems. Also, we will study about Verignan's theorem, a very important theorem in types of force system. Before starting this video, if you haven't watched my concurrent parallel and general type of force system problem yet, I strongly recommend you guys to first watch those videos so that your basics will be absolutely crystal clear and then come back to this video. Okay, so now let's get started. So guys, in all the problems of coplanar type of force system, we were actually asked to find one resultant force that will give the effect of all these forces acting on that system. Okay? For example, in concurrent type of problem, instead of applying all these forces, only one such force which will give the same effect as all these forces give to this point. Similarly, in the parallel type of force system, only one such force which will give the same effect as all these forces are giving to this system. Same for general type of force system. So, one thing which was important was the placement of the resultant. Where exactly that resultant will lie? First, we will take the concurrent type of force system. Now, all these forces are acting at this point. So, definitely our resultant will also act at this point only. But at what angle, whether it will be here, whether it will be applied here or here. So, with the magnitude of the resultant, the placement of that resultant was important in case of concurrent type of force system. R and theta. We had to find both this parameter to solve any type of concurrent problem. Similarly, for parallel type of force system, along with resultant magnitude, we had to find at what distance it will act. So here, along with R, we had to find X. Here, we need not find theta because all the forces were parallel forces. So definitely our resultant force will also be in the same direction that is the vertical direction upwards or downwards that will depend upon its summation understood r and x now for general type of force system along with r and theta we also need to find distance of that resultant from any particular point that is x for example you have got the resultant r with some theta but where exactly it has to be applied to get the same resultant so that position we have to find for general type of force system understood guys see it is very simple for concurrent since it is a point where all the forces are applied so obviously our resultant force will also be applied through that point only so we don't have to find any x distance we just have to find the magnitude r and at what angle it will be applied understood for parallel force system we don't have to find theta because we know the our resultant force will be vertical we just have to find its magnitude but at what position it will act that we have to find means r and x here r and theta while in general force system, we have to find the resultant force, the magnitude, uh, by what force it has to be acted, along with its angle, what will be the angle of that resultant force to give the same effect. Again, where it has to be placed, at what point it has to be applied, with that angle and with that magnitude. So, for general force system, we have to find three parameters. R theta and x okay for parallel force system just two parameters understood guys let us quickly revise the steps we had taken to find all these parameters 
So guys, the very first step in all the three types of force system problem is to take the components of all the forces in two direction that is vertical and horizontal. This is the very first step that you need to follow for all the three types of coplanar force system. Next step after finding all the vertical and horizontal components is to find your summation fx and summation fy again for all the three type of coplanar force system once you find summation fx and fy third step obviously is to find the magnitude of r with the help of this formula understood and once you find your magnitude of r next is to find theta but not in this case see for parallel case we don't have to find theta so this step will eliminate for this type of force system but for concurrent and general we will follow the fourth step as well understood so again for theta we will apply the formula that is tan inverse ratio of summation f phi upon summation f x understood again last parameter that we had to find was x in case of parallel and general force system and how we found out x with the concept of moment yes and what was that concept moment of all forces all forces means forces that were acting before resultant to that system at some particular point will be equal to the movement of the resultant force that you had found with the same point and here only unknown will be x and you had found that x with the help of this equation understood guys so just using all these steps we have easily solved all these types of coplanar force system now guys see we have found this x with the help of moment so guys this complete process is actually what is called as varignan's theorem okay actually we are applying varignan's theorem now let us study about what do you mean by varignan's theorem so guys first let's quickly just read what varignan's theorem actually states so it states that moment at any point of force or forces acting on a body is equal to the moment of resultant at that particular point so guys this is the statement but it is very important to actually understand what it is trying to say we should know what is the physical meaning of the statement only then you will actually understand the meaning of the statement so let us try to understand the physical meaning of this statement by taking an example so guys suppose this is an object wherein different forces are acting from different direction few forces are acting in vertical direction and few forces are acting in horizontal direction also few forces are acting inclined to this object so as an effect of all these forces this object is moving like this okay now what we have to do is we have to remove all these forces and we have to apply just this resultant forces at some particular distance so that it it is also giving the same effect okay so this resultant should not give more than this effect or less than this effect the moment due to this resultant should be exactly same which all these forces were giving understood the movement due to this resultant cannot be more or cannot be less which all these forces were actually given understood so this is what this varignan's theorem states so guys now let's correlate this example with the statement now see it states that moment at any point now let's assume that the point which this statement is talking about is this point so the moment at any point of forces acting on the body so moment 
of all these forces with respect to this point is equal to the moment of resultant at that particular point okay so this is equal to the moment of this resultant is giving with respect to the same point so this is what we have actually seen the moment has to be same the moment which resultant is giving with the same point should be same with the moment all these forces are giving with respect to the same point understood guys so this is what wegener's theorem state summation of moment of all the forces with respect to some particular point should be equal to summation of moment of resultant force with respect to the same point so this is important with respect to same point we have to take understood guys so we have taken use of this wegener's theorem to find the distance of the resultant force x so guys i hope now you have understood the complete procedure with all these steps to solve any type of coplanar force system and the physical meaning of wegener's theorem so guys if you have any doubt in any of the topic taught till now do comment me or drop a mail whose link you may find in the description box also if you have gained any knowledge through this video do subscribe like share and comment thank you